Now, of course, we have a car coming through. What's up, everybody? So, welcome to the video. Tonight, we are doing a night review on the 2017 Volkswagen Beetle Dune Edition. So, stay tuned over the next few minutes as we take a look at the lighting. And this is the real deal, folks. We are literally doing a night review tonight. So, stay tuned. We are out in the country right now. We got the lake right over here. The sun just went down. And I think it's going to be a great night for a night review and let y'all see the lighting on this really cool car. Man, the Volkswagen Beetle. Let's check it out. All right, everybody. So I've switched out my camera from my, uh, from my video camera with Canon to my Canon t5i with a 50 millimeter lens so we can see a little bit better at nighttime the only uh, disadvantage of filming with a 50 millimeter lens is that you can't really move around a whole lot because it's kind of zoomed in and yeah it's going to shake a little bit all right so now i'm directly in front let's kind of move the focus around a little bit i don't think we're going to be able to see a whole lot there but those lights that are on right now are those are your daytime running lights so I don't have any lights on right now. I just have the car cranked up sitting there and good gracious, those daytime running lights are bright. Let's see if we can move around a little bit so we can get a better shot of that. There we go, I'm working it. As you can see there, um, I do have the dome light on on this car. Um, this is a convertible. So it's a beautiful car. It's that, uh, it's, it's Volkswagen's kind of yellow orange color which looks really nice on the Dune Beetle. And a lot of times when they're advertised, they're advertising this one. I could have picked a white Dune today, but I said, you know what? The white one's a hard top. Let's take out the soft top. Again, tomorrow I'll be taking this to the Isle of Palms Beach for a concert tomorrow night with Lauren Elena. And uh, so I thought, you know what? Let's use this car to film the night review tonight. And then y'all be able to see it again on a separate video while we're at the concert on the beach. So that's kind of how it looks on the inside with your dome light right up above. Pretty bright, I'm telling you. It really puts a nice little uh, amount of light on the seats there on your convertible, which is great. And uh, I'm going to switch out cameras in a second and go back to my video camera, but I just wanted to get some good shots here for you of the uh, inside of this car. I mean, it's really sporty. I love how Volkswagen adds the uh, outside color to the inside on the dash, on the door panels there all that good stuff and uh, you'll notice in just a minute when I switch out cameras and I cut that dome light off and when I cut the headlights on there's a lot more action to be seen on the interior of the Beetle that's for sure I mean it really is a cool little car and I love the wheels and all that good stuff so anyways let's go ahead and do that right about uh, right now here we go just switched out cameras right now I'm not too happy about the lighting situation out here filming the car at nighttime but um, I'll do the best that I can and uh, maybe tomorrow night when we're out there at the beach and we got some lights on the streets and all that kind of stuff where the car will be parked at I can get a little bit better shots for y'all but uh, you know a lot of y'all said man you're like the first guy to do night reviews well you know what thank you I definitely am uh, not a lot of people are doing this stuff and this right here tonight is literally a real night review I mean we're out here in the dark um, it's nice though the car's running so right now I have the headlights on Hey man, do we got a bunch of bugs and June bugs and stuff flying around hitting me? Uh, bugs are always attracted to lights, aren't they? Um, those are your regular headlights there. I do not know why Volkswagen has not added LED light structures or light headlights to the actual uh, Beetles. I just think it would look so good with a set of LED headlights on it. Right now, I think we still got your just traditional halogen lights. And then your Volkswagen GTI, your Volkswagen R, um, you know, you can get LED. Not, maybe not the R, I think, has all LED headlights, but your, uh, your GTI, the, the more loaded up model, I think it was the SE. It's even got the LEDs down in the bumper and all that. Anyway, so let's keep looking. Headlights, just again, just traditional halogen headlights. They do have a nice little side marker light right there for you on that front fender. Let's go ahead and move around to the back. I'm, and look, I mean, as you can see, it's really dark out here tonight. But it does let you see 
the lights when they're on and that's what this is all about I'm loving the rear end and the tail lights they look really a lot better than the front end I mean look at that tail light right there I just love how that kind of goes it goes around like that and get those two little spots in the middle I mean just a beautiful tail light on the beetle tag lights are nice and bright again no LED back here and I do not really know if that's LED lights inside the uh, tail lights there to make it light up like that I don't think it is but again who knows you would think I would know right but maybe not but it could be LED I mean that little light there kind of looks like an LED but it could be just a regular bulb kind of in there lighting this whole area up and that's why I ask these questions uh, you know what do y'all think can you set let me know in the comments because maybe y'all know a little bit more than I do right I mean I'm not the expert I do my reviews is almost like a reaction type review um, you know I'm, I'm seeing this stuff at night for the first time just like if you were doing it at the first time a lot of times I don't even study all this stuff too intensively unless it's something I really want to get into um, but again I don't like to study all this stuff not because I'm being lazy or anything like that but I really want to show it to you and get my reaction out of it on camera before reading all up about it and watching tons of videos um, as you can see right now on the interior I'm loving all the red. I mean, man, it's got a lot going on. The gauge clusters, the uh, the speakers down in the doors right there. Check that out. That looks really cool. That's pretty sweet. I love how the steering wheel lights up like that. I mean, just a lot of cool little red accent lights all throughout the interior. And even uh, if you can notice this here, up top on the door panel there, it looks like there's some illumination. See it right there in the middle of the screen? There's a little bit of um, red illumination going on in that spot right there, kind of up under those um, door sills or whatever. So that looks pretty good. So a lot of red going on. Now let's go ahead and cut our blinkers on, see what we got. When, what happens when you open the door, right? What happens when we open the door? That's right, when we open the door, our dome light comes on right up front. Again, this is a convertible top vehicle. Again, no LED just that traditional kind of off yellow white color um, your rear view mirror right here which I'm kind of tapping on right now does not have a light at all in it okay which definitely is not very helpful at nighttime I mean look if you're sitting here in the seat you aren't getting any light on your face at all don't get it why did Volkswagen do that I'm really not sure let's see if they got even a light on the passenger side over here nope no light over there as well so I guess Volkswagen just figures that those two dome lights there are going to shine enough light on your face but as we're seeing tonight that's not the, that's not the case okay that's right all right your start stop engine button is right down there it's got a little red kind of illuminating that to go along with everything else let's go ahead and cut on our uh, our fog lights all Volkswagens on fog lights you pull out and they'll cut on as you can see out here watch wow that's what fog lights do folks they brighten up that whole area right there where it's all dark at and it just basically sheds light on every bit of that wow that's pretty amazing it really is and you know, some of you are saying yeah i know that's what fog lights do duh all right well hey you're getting to see it <laughs> all right where is our switch to cut the blinkers on it's right down here let's take a look at that for a minute I always like to see what the blinkers look like. So as you can see, your mirror blinks. Your blinkers on the front of the Beetle, right down there, okay? And that might be the thumbnail picture for the video tonight. Who knows? Let's take a look. There is no puddle light under the mirror for down here on the ground. That's something I think duly needed. I mean, I think all vehicles should have a nice puddle light there, right? Why does it only have to be the expensive or the SUVs, luxury vehicles that have a puddle light down there, right? I mean, again, you got a girl, your wife, you know, or you or whatever, driving the Beetle, you're out for dinner, and uh, it's been raining a little bit or whatever. You know, I mean, it'd be nice to open the door right here and have a puddle light. Now, one thing I'm noticing, and know it's a little tough to see, but your dome light does shed a little bit of light on the ground. You can't see it now, but there's a little bit of light down there on the ground. Let's look in the back, and there's your flashers 
on the bottom of the tail light right there. All right, next spot we're gonna look for lighting on the vehicle because I'm trying to cover all spots is uh, right under here. It's really good. Volkswagen's done a great job. That's a super bright light, shedding light all inside the trunk of the Beetle. As you can see, all the stuff back here, the roadside assistance kit, the all-season mats, the dealer plate, the tripod, all that good stuff right there. Your backup camera, you can't see it right now, but it is up under the, uh, under the emblem there. I probably, before I came over here, should have grabbed my LED light box to go on top of the camera while I'm filming tonight. But, you know, I kind of wanted to do a night review and have it dark, right? So anyways, all right, that's about it, really. I mean, I don't see a whole lot of more lighting. I think there was a something else I wanted to cover on the video, but it's not coming to mind right now. I was wondering, you know, do the, do the speaker uh, lights and stuff like that, can you change the colors on them? I'm not sure. Um, do they uh, pulsate and, you know, the light dims and stuff like that when the music is on? No. I was listening to some country music earlier while riding down the road here. It was not doing that. I think the only vehicle that does a pulsating color in the speakers is a Kia Soul. Okay, remember those commercials with the hamsters on them? Yeah, that was it. Um, other than that, it's really about it. Let's go ahead and hop back in. Uh, all right, now, can you see that there? You can get a good look at it now. Got a nice little light right up under here, making that area glow. Pretty sweet. Not bad. I'm trying to cut these on up here so we can see a little bit better. If, if there was a spot to change colors inside the vehicle on the speakers and things like that, it would most likely be in, um, in the system here. So let's take a quick look and see if we can find that. Go to menu, okay? Go to, uh, all right, I guess we'll be using this right over here to control this stuff. Image, it is touch screen, so you should be able to do that. Go to setup, all right? Display, language, more information there. Um, let's see, factory settings, Bluetooth system information, copyright. Configuration wizard, would it be there? No, not there. Where is the back button? Just get a little X, got to go all the way back in, hit set up over there on the right. Um, sound scan, arrow keys, presets, all that. Okay, it's not in there. Go back to menu over here. Try to scroll through. That's just seeing if there's something I maybe missed. Telephone, images, sound. Go back in the setup, display language, more key languages. We're back over here, factory settings. Here we go, maybe this is where we're at. Sound, radio, telephone, media, voice operation, system, app connect. All right, I don't think I'm gonna put y'all through any more uh, time looking at this stuff. I do not think that is an option. If it is, let me know in the comments and uh, I'd be curious to know that. Uh, before we do go, I did want to show you the backup camera. That's exactly what I was remembering because people always are wondering, I've heard customers in dealerships, how's the lighting back there at nighttime with the backup camera? Sales guy's like, well, I don't really, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, right? Yeah, well, you should know if you're watching my videos, bro. All right, so put the car in reverse. Let's see what's going on here. So that's what it pretty dark back there. And as you can see, we can see pretty good in the rear. Now wouldn't that be spooky if something scary rolled through there like a ghost or uh, somebody with a Jason mask on. <laughs> Pretty good little backup camera there. It looks like you're seeing little lines and things moving around the screen but um, and I can see a little bit of that from with my own eyes but it also could be my camera the frame rates on it and things like that. Camera menu okay so you got that little option there. Yeah Hmm. You can brighten it up a little bit, contrast, leave it in the middle, color. So that's kind of cool. Contrast, hold on, black and white. And that might be a little better for night, but anyways, that's some of the stuff you can do with the camera options in the back. Other than that, that's about 
it. All right, everybody, thanks for watching the video on the 2017 Volkswagen Beetle at night. Hopefully, I covered enough for you. And uh, if you'd like to see another vehicle at nighttime in this same spot, and maybe next time I'll grab my LED light box and so it's not so dark. But um, anyways, if you want to see more night reviews, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know. I'll tell you what brands I have for options to be able to do some of this stuff on. Um, I have Volkswagen, new. Kia, new. Honda, new. Mazda, new. Chevrolet, and Ford. So I have all those different brands to do videos on. Some of y'all that are uh, longtime subscribers know exactly what stores I work with and what brands. And then, of course, I have access to over a thousand pre-owned vehicles. And that's how sometimes I get to put stuff on camera that's really kind of cool. But anyways, I can get them. I can get these cars most of the time and, and do pretty much whatever I need to do to make videos of them. So let me know in the comments if there's a particular car you'd like to see a night review done on. And if it's a different brand that I don't have access to, you know, so I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm going to have to go to other stores and uh, and just walk in and say, hey, would you mind? I'm with Charleston Car Videos. Let me do a video on your car. You know, something like that. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. So anyways, have a great day. Thanks for watching. As usual, like, comment, and subscribe. And check out all the vlogs I'm doing and all the videos I'm doing. Uh, today, got to film a, uh, a really cool car. or I don't know. What, what do you want to call it? A car or a motorcycle or in between. A Polaris um, Slingshot. It's a 2017 brand new. Look out for that video. I took it out for a test drive today and did a review on it. And that's a really cool car. A technician at our Volkswagen store just bought it this past Friday. Anyways, peace out. Thanks for watching. I'm Chad with Charleston Car Videos.